Scenes from Earth Day 2013. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. In a moment, we'll preview this year's Earth Day celebration. Also, the tax center can help beyond the filing deadline. The Fort Meade VA Clinic is holding an open house. These stories and more, but first, April is the month of the military child. Child Youth and School Services, along with Army Community Services, have a series of events planned throughout the month, culminating with the annual Family Fun Fair on the 26th. Details on that in a moment, but first, here's a message from some spouses of senior military leaders on the month of the military child. Hello, I'm Lisa Vitagli and I'm joined by fellow military spouses as we recognize and celebrate month of the military child. Many times throughout their childhood, we ask them to make some pretty significant sacrifices that a non-military child may never have to experience. Sacrifices such as routinely moving to a new school or having to say goodbye to friends or stepping up and filling additional chores when their parents are deployed can be tough. While this change of a normal lifestyle impacts the household, it also provides and prepares our children for growth and maturity, dependability, and resiliency to mention a few. Military children are nothing short of amazing. And as they proudly reach adulthood, many military kids, like mine, volunteer to serve as part of America's Armed Forces. They are the future of our country. We love them for who they are and what they represent. Said another way, Military Kids Rock! In conjunction with the month of the Military Child and Child Abuse Prevention Month, MWR is hosting its annual Family Fun Fair on Saturday, April 26th at McGill Training Center. Attractions include musical performances by Fort Meade Youth, a skateboard park, a variety of games, plus lots of information on health and youth services. The Family Fun Fair, once again, is April 26th from 10 to 2. It's free and open to the public. In financial news, the IRS tax filing deadline is coming up next week, and more than 70 million Americans have already filed. If you haven't, the Fort Meade Tax Assistance Center can still help, even beyond the April 15th deadline. We spoke with Captain Iris Yao of Fort Meade's Legal Assistance Division. We actually open through 30 April and we'll be working on amendments. So people who have filed and want to amend their returns or people who want to amend previous year returns, they have three years to amend their returns. So right now we can do 2011 and onward. So we'll be open for two weeks after the filing deadline to help amendment for amending returns and then also for those who are filing late. For instance, if they filed an extension or if they know they don't owe money and they're just claiming their refund, they have three years to do so and we'll be open for two weeks to help them with that. If you're deployed, depending on when you left and how many days you spend in the combat zone leading up to 15 April, you have that many days plus 180 days to file. In other news, Fort Meade is celebrating Earth Day 2014 on April 23rd from 10 to 2 at the Fort Meade Pavilion. As always, you can expect some great exhibits, including the Oyster Recovery Partnership, EPA's Environmental Science Center, and much, much more. Additionally, this year, if exhibits aren't enough to get you to come out, then this might do it. Besides a free lunch, it's being provided by the Civilian Welfare Fund and the Corvius Housing Group. You can also get in on a drawing for a free night stay with complimentary breakfast at the BWI Airport's Weston Hotel. Once again, Earth Day 2014 is coming up April 23rd from 10 to 2 at the Fort Meade Pavilion. Meanwhile, Fort Meade's VA Clinic is holding an open house and information fair on Saturday, April 26th from 10 to 1 p.m. You can learn more about the VA Maryland health care system, your eligibility, and how to apply for VA health care. If you're considering applying, you'll need to bring your DD Form 214, a photo ID, and your financial information from last year. The Fort Meade VA Clinic is located on 5th Street, just behind the Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center. For more information, go to their website at maryland.va.gov. And finally, on this edition, we close with an announcement from the Military District of Washington's Twilight Tattoo Program. This year's program will be held each Wednesday starting on April 30th at Joint Base Meyer Henderson Hall. Here's more from MDW. The United States Army Military District of Washington, the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard, and the United States Army Band present the 2014 Twilight Tattoo. During this hour-long show, experience American history through historic reenactments and see live concert performances and demonstrations from the Army's best at the 2014 Twilight Tattoo. For more information, visit twilight.mdw.army.mil. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.